Hi friends, so I'm coming off another Merkaba experience. This time it was golf. I went to the heaven of golf and I was very lucky to go again and it was a gift uh, that I didn't earn. And so I'm grateful that it happened even though I'm technically not there in heaven anymore. I'm, st I'm on earth. <laughs> so basically um, a lot of stuff went on during this Merkabah, it happened over about three days or so. And um, altogether, my feelings uh, after this, uh, this Merkabah experience disappeared <clears throat> were not unlike other Merkabah experiences I've had, where sometimes I just liken it to the waters of Lethe, where I've drunk in these waters and forget like basically everything that happens. Um, well, I shouldn't say forget everything that happens. It's, I don't feel the same way, even though I remember everything that happens. Maybe I should say it like that. And so the feeling actually during the Merkaba experience uh, was very um, exciting. And I enjoy, I enjoy every time I go to spiritual golf because it is a wonderful heaven. All of the 14 heavens are absolutely equivalent to each other. So it doesn't matter which one I'm, I feel like I'm in at a certain time, but that um, uh, <clears throat> they all, they're all equal in terms of awesomeness. Uh, so basically, um, uh, I'll just go through a couple of these experiences I had during the, during the Merkaba experience. Um, one of them was one where I feel like um, I got my dance moves back. And um, I had watched one of the one of the videos uh, I did about 14 years ago, and in that video I was doing some dance moves um, while rearranging my apartment, and I and I realized that by watching this this video at first I thought, oh, I'm I'm spinning a lot more than when I normally like like dance, but it wasn't just the spinning; <clears throat> it was using my left hand to pick up things to touch things. Uh, equally with my right hand. And this was a revelation to me because I realized, yeah, I need that left hand involved in order to do lots of balancing. So in the middle of the night, after my mom and my dad went to bed, uh, well, as I was on a visit to their, um, their home, I was playing my music downstairs. They let me play this um, music because the sound, I liked playing it over there because the sound quality is a lot better because um, I can kind of not really blast it, but have it pretty loud. And so I was doing my dancing and it, it, everything was going perfectly. And I kept thinking of like the Olympics that, you know, the floor exercises where the ladies and the other gymnast, gymnasts do a great job and they don't make any mistakes. And I felt like I was doing this exact kind of like performance where I was spinning sometimes and picking up lots of things with my left hand equally as with my right as if my left hand were seven heavens and my right hand were seven heavens i just thought of that just now but like there's a balance that equal equal there's an equality um from these different heavens so <clears throat> about the golf game the spiritual golf games i had about three or four of these experiences that i can kind of remember one of them i wrote down as I was going along, and this was the uh, Angels versus World Patriot CEO. World Patriot knows who he is. Um, and um, basically, when I'm a caddy, so I don't I don't know how these games are played, spiritual golf, but it is one of my heavens but, that I've gone to many times. Uh, basically, um, when I'm in this heaven as a caddy, the angels know how to play the C the golf games. The CEOs know how to play the golf games. They aren't the same as regular earth golf games, but nobody else knows how to play the golf games. But you, but I can witness uh, these golf games being performed and played out. And the angels are sports because the angels never, never lose. The angels always win. Um, and that's just the way things are. And you know, CEOs get confident and they think that they can beat the angels at, you know, this very important golf game uh, in heaven. When the CEOs try, 
the sea goes get kind of cocky and the angels just do their thing and all of a sudden like a few holes in you know the angels are winning and the CEOs are getting more and more and more upset and the goal is that <clears throat> when the angels win the game the CEOs are supposed to pay in order to make uh, you know uh, poverty vanish in the world in certain sectors or or if all if they could do it all together that would be great too i need to play it we need to play like you know <clears throat> well um, that it's the angels that are up in charge of that i can't like tell them what to do but anyways um so we played a world patriot and so like we'd say okay well you can hit the ball now it's your turn and world patriot would hit the ball and he'd go like in the toilet down the street um, over at like Walmart or somewhere, and then it, and then I'd, the angels went on, I would just like shake our heads, and the angel would, would hit their golf ball right into the hole as always, um, and uh, the um, I got something down. Um, the uh, idea that um, we played one of our friends. As a, as a CEO, when this person becomes a CEO, was kind of significant. Um, and the angels beat him in this game too. And it, it like, what it does for me is it makes me feel as if, because these angels are super awesome, everybody should think that they're super awesome because they are good. And the epitome of good, like the ideal form of good. And it makes me feel bad when people don't like he, sometimes people will recognize them or recognize that something's happening to me. But I don't think anybody's really fully aware. Uh, and the angels know this too. They know they're awesome. They know that they're good. And when people kind of like act as if their views are better than angels, then I think that that's what kind of summons up these these tournaments, these golf tournaments, spiritually speaking, and they get to try out their own awesomeness against the angels' awesomeness, and they always lose. So that's what gives me like a feeling of pride, being able to witness, because these are my, this is my family of angels that gets to play along with other angels that are out there that play spiritual golf in their heavens, in the spiritual golf heaven. <clears throat> so, um, it's not so much a feeling in my in my heart of pride, but of kind of like the angels being protectors of me or my companions. It makes me feel good to see them do good. Um, and it makes me feel like they're, they're going to win. Their views are right. And nothing can like stop this. Um, and it makes me look at like the bigger picture of the whole world and how it's kind of set up and how spiritual golf um, enacts... Uh, kind of a a feeling of um, a proof or demonstration that these angels are good. If only this was always the case, but this was just a heaven that I was in for three days. So you can see where my kind of dilemma is, where I'd love to have it happen all the time. And it feels like it should happen, but it, it also shouldn't too happen because I've got other things that the angels are working with me doing that take take priority over um, be, me being in spiritual golf for the rest of my life until I die and then go to my own heaven with them and charades. Basically, um, also this idea of like dancing, I want to go back to it just for a second. When I was dancing and everything was going perfectly and I was making these stacks and doing different moves and Everything was new and fresh, and the music sounded awesome. I was going on uh, on the right beat. I was picking things up mostly with my left hand and moving them to my right hand and moving them back to my left hand in a perfect balance. The next day I, after I visited my parents, I came home and played the piano, and I could still feel that sense of balance. Uh, I recorded it and put it up here on Facebook and also on YouTube, but I could feel that feeling of balance again, like happening and it really felt good to play du during that that feeling of you know being in heaven in the golf heaven so there's always like a time frame and this time this time is three days of golf 
Um, I've had longer Merkaba experiences where they went seven or or 14 days, uh, maybe even longer when I was really starting off with my angels, but this one was just a three day or one. So um, <clears throat> as with this one, I'm not gonna write anything about it. I'm just doing this little talk real quick. Maybe I'll write a little bit about it, but it won't be like a dialogue. Or it won't be like an epic poem, like Head Betress Here, Stay Friends, It's President's Day, The Band, those kinds of ones that I've already gone to and wrote these like huge long um, <clears throat> narratives of what happened during those experiences. Um, there's a weird feeling like it could always start back up again, but it probably won't. And I could give in to the feeling that I could, should be complaining that I'm not in heaven anymore. But um, basically, I think that that's, that's going the wrong way. I'm grateful that it happened. I, don't, I also don't want to jinx it by saying, hey, darn it, I'm not in heaven anymore. I think that that's a terrible thing. And, you know, that's that's not going to get me any points with my angels, if if anything. But um, this Waters of Lethe, um, where I kind of like forget things, uh, um, what happened in the heaven, but I remember lots of stuff that happened, but what I'm forgetting is the feeling of knowing that I'm in heaven. That's the main part. And the meta the naming. Okay, there's this too. So, well, there's two, two different types of namings that went on. The first, uh, I'll just name, a, I'll say a few, uh, where we had a few angels uh, that were famous, like Carol Bloom, whose angel name is now Angel Home. Mark Twain's angel name is Apartment Matt. Oscar Wilde's angel name is The Odysseus. Errol Gardner's angel name is Billy Ship. And so I went down, I was putting these on Facebook, but there's some really good ones here. Um, uh, one of them I like the best. Although I guess I kind of like all of them the best. Um, I liked William Shakespeare's angel name, which is Crazy Wow. And uh, uh, the Buddha's name, I felt was kind of really weird because it's the same name as, as my name, other than B'nai B'va. It's like angels call me Silly Billy. So his name is Silly Billy, but they're diff we're different. He's a different Silly Billy than I am. Uh, all right, so the other naming was where you take, say, Silly Billy, right? <clears throat> and you use like... Uh, English gematria, which is the where you take the initials maybe sometimes, or the whole word and we add up the letters, and letters represent numbers. <clears throat> I thought this was kind of neat because it gave me a chance to take two letters like S and B, silly Billy, S being, not, being 19 and B being 2. And so silly Billy would be 19 too, and lo and behold, I could go onto YouTube and type in Billy McBride uh, 192, and lo and behold, there'd be a, one of my pieces of music right there, because I'm doing it on a 60 by 60 matrix of 3,600 songs. 192 is one of the songs on there, and it came from the name Silly Billy. So I was, I was thinking about using this as a teaching tool, as if I was in uh, the other heaven of Hebatresia, where there are teachers, and they can teach the angels there around narratives on the best literature and um, <clears throat> I could really go into a lot of a lot of this but I'm, I'm gonna keep it kind of short um, at the end there is kind of like a feeling that it was passing away and my my last golf game wasn't I didn't feel like I, I, was, I was feeling more separated from what the angels were doing and so it ended, and then I thought, well, yeah, I feel like this has kind of faded away a little bit, and it's kind of sad because, you know, I've had this happen a few times, many times actually before, where the the state of heaven kind of wears off, the feeling of like being in heaven. Uh, <clears throat> but the neat thing about it was that I started thinking more and more and more about the community and how, like, in spiritual golf, it's the angels against the CEOs. But on Earth, we have, like, a, a whole community. And I started thinking about the, the community also being, uh, like, they call it the Shekinah in, in, uh, in Judaism, but, or in Kabbalah. But <clears throat> my idea of, like, peace at the end, like, I needed to, like, 
find a kind of sense of peace after all this overexcitement and overstimulation of whatever happened in, in heaven. I started thinking about my end project, Every Nation Demilitarized, and how that's a symbol for peace, and it would, it would make peace happen if, if there were no militaries, there would be no war. Uh, so I'm not worried right now. I'm happy that other people are going to the heaven of God for that there already are angels in, in heaven, uh, in, that, in, the, in that heaven. Um, I did learn a whole lot in, in the spiritual Merkaba experience going to celestial golf, but I forgot the best parts uh, in sense because like the heavenly knowing is not going on right right this moment. I'm, I'm knowing a little bit, but it's not the same where it's like an absolute knowing, if, if you know what I mean, um, which is hard to know what I mean if you've never been to like one of these heavens, but you have to take my word for it, I guess. Uh, but the peace is good. The Shekinah was really great. The moon project, I feel like I can work back on now, now that I'm not in um, uh, spiritual golf. And things came together perfectly in this perfect vision of celestial golf again. Everything was becoming fresh and new, and I could see the biggest, bigger picture. I could see what was going on, basically, with the world and how people going up against their, their, their view, putting their views against the angels' views, and it's always going to make them look bad because the angels are always going to win. Um, and so I've been thinking of like another kind of like, uh, as I'm on Earth, thinking of another kind of ramification of, of th this. I'm going to be studying this kind of like what happened with this with this heavenly experience over the next few months, I believe, just to kind of absorb what happened. Um, but it was heaven. And also, I feel like maybe, as I did last night, thinking about more of the community, thinking about how we in the community can help set up these like spiritual golf courses for the angels to play on. So I was arranging my apartment a little bit um, <clears throat> in a nice state of mind last night, thinking about how... It could be a spiritual golf course and everything in the room could be a props for the spiritual golf course and so with that i appreciate everybody listening to me thank you take care